Hello guys, so here's some information about what has been going on behind the scenes. As some of you already know, we had a water leakage in our apartment a couple of months back, and I thought it's time to share some uh, thoughts about that. Me and my girlfriend, we live in a beautiful small apartment in a beautiful small city in Sweden. Our apartment is located on the top floor of our building, which is very nice, but also very unfortunate in this uh, situation here. The roof uh, covering the building is quite old and has been in need of some renovation for uh, some time. So a couple of months ago, a contractor was given the job to do exactly this. They started to build scaffolds, bringing uh, containers and uh, mounted uh, rubbish chutes to get rid of all the tiles covering the roof. This continued for a couple of days until the whole roof was uh, exposed. And then they just uh, left for the weekend, not covering up the roof. Which is kind of insane, due to the news had been warning us all week that heavy rain would hit us during this very same weekend. The rain poured down like crazy all weekend and we started to notice that water was leaking through our ceiling and then our walls. Long story short, since then we'd had water leaking through our ceiling and walls every time it rains. It has been roughly three months as of this video and the roof is still not complete. And now more neighbors had similar problems and it looks like there's gonna be a massive renovation intervention here. We had construction people here, housing association people, moisture meter company people over and over during this time. It's been really hard for both of us to have strangers running here all the time and to know that as soon as it rains, we have to be home to stop it from spreading and ruin all floors, furniture and other stuff. And it looks like the procedure to fix all of this is not going to happen soon because of the extent of all the damage here in the building. And we are probably not going to be able to live here during that time, which will probably extend over a couple of months. I will try to continue streaming every day as I've been during this time, but I maybe won't be able to keep my schedule every week. And especially when we end up in a hotel during this time to play uh, Hell It Loose. But I'll figure out something else to play and I hope you guys will enjoy that, whatever that will be. And I guess that's uh, it. I've been talking about this on the stream for a couple of times. But I figured this video will make the whole picture a bit clearer and maybe explain why I'm not streaming some days. And maybe some days some seem to be extra tired and annoyed and a little bit angry maybe. The whole situation has been very exhausting to say at least. Anyway. I just wanted to share. Uh, stay beautiful people and I'll see you on the stream. Take care. Bye bye.